Praise be Jesus Christ. You know how in life there are times when all of a sudden the truth of a common expression that you may have been familiar with your whole life, all of a sudden it makes so much sense to you. Just this morning the expression, I can only juggle so much, finally just became so real to me, or, or again, it made so much sense to me. I'm one of these guys, I like to do a lot. I like to do as much as I can. I wish I could be doing more. But the reality is, is it's kind of like juggling. A person starts by learning to juggle two balls, and then three, and then eventually four. Um, I could only get as high as three, juggling three balls. I have friends that they can, I don't know how many, they're very good jugglers, they can juggle a lot of balls. Um, but the reality is, is we can only juggle so much. Many of us, we wish we could juggle more. We wish we could be doing more. There's other things we'd love to bring into our daily routine, but we can only juggle so much. Now this becomes especially difficult when there are other people who are, they're not happy with us. They might even be judging us because they're saying, hey, why aren't you juggling this? This is important. This, this should be of concern to you. Why aren't you juggling this? And our response is, I know, you're right. I agree 100%. I would love to be able to juggle that as well. But at this point, I can barely juggle what I'm juggling right now. And people might also think like, hey, why is that ball you're juggling more important than the thing that I think you should be juggling? And again, oftentimes it's like, I, I, I'm not arguing that. There are a lot of important, good, necessary, urgent, critical things I probably should be doing. But I can only juggle so much. I think one of the realities in life is we just need to accept that we will never be able to make everyone happy. No matter how phenomenal we are, even if you can get to a place where you can juggle like 12 balls at the same time and people are just in awe, there will be, still be some people saying, hey, I'm glad you can juggle 12 balls, but why can't you juggle this ball as well? <laughs> you know, you're just like, you have no idea how hard it is to juggle as much as I'm juggling. Sometimes too, the people who are critical saying, hey, you should be juggling more. It's like, dude, you're only juggling two balls at a nice leisurely rate, you know? Like, who are you to judge me, you know? Um, the good thing though, about this reality, that there will always be people who will be angry at you because you're not juggling enough, they think, or you're not juggling the thing that they think you should be juggling, um, is that it keeps us humble. It keeps us humble. You know, it's, it's not good for us to think that we're, I don't know what, you know, Mr. Perfect or super impressive or, or whatever else. Um, if every single person on the face of the earth thought we were, you know, wonderful, that, that probably wouldn't be good. Uh, Lucia, Sister Lucia from Fatima, when our Blessed Mother started to appear to her, she experienced tremendous uh, persecution from, from her family, from, from a lot of people. And reflecting later in life, she said, you know, I see that as such a blessing that even, you know, my mom and my family and, and others were so hard on me. She said, you know, there was crowds, crowds of people who were begging me for prayer, who were wanting just to touch me, uh, who, who were so impressed, they called me the saint. She said, had I not had people who were critical of me, angry at me, um, threatening me, uh, not at all impressed with me, she said, I probably would have fell into pride. I probably would have fell into vanity. She said, these people who were critical of me, uh, they probably saved me from the awful sin of pride. And so, um, so again, in life, we need to accept we can only juggle so much. There will be people who aren't happy because we're not juggling what they think we should be juggling. Uh, they're not happy because they think we're not juggling enough. And praise God, it keeps us humble. At the end of the day, we need to be able to say with St. Paul, I have competed well, I have finished the race, and I have kept the faith. Viva Cristore.